At six, back at it again. Congressman David Valadeo is on the campaign trail in his run for re-election. Thanks for joining us. I'm Rochelle Murcia. And I'm Michael Patterson. California's 22nd district is one of the most coveted seats in the U.S. House. Eyewitness News reporter Will Silverstein spoke with the seat's incumbent, David Valadeo, about the crisis on the southern border, water storage, and his familiar opponents in this year's race. Those are things that are bipartisan that we can see some success on. Incumbent Representative David Valadeo is running for re-election in the 22nd District, and he has a couple of big focuses for his legislative year in addition to his run for office. What is the perfect year for you legislatively this coming year in 2024? I mean, ideally I'd like to see some sort of win on the, on the waterfront. Uh, I know uh, expecting to get 100% of everything we ask for uh, is, is not reasonable, but we're going to fight to get as much as we possibly can, and uh, we'd like to see some successes on that front. Uh, on the immigration front, I'd also like to see something. Uh, I would love to see a guest worker program that works for agriculture. I'd love to see something that secures our border. Uh, I'd love to see uh, infrastructure dollars go to continuing to fix the Frank Kern Canal. Right now with a border crisis, what are the policies that House Republicans are trying to implement and that you would like to implement? Uh, again, should you be reelected? And I guess what you're trying to do right now, too. The situation we're dealing with today is obviously this administration is not taking the border seriously. The president himself just the other day said that he did not feel that it was secure. I, I don't know if that was uh, him speaking off the cuff and said that by mistake, but the reality is that's the truth. Uh, what we're seeing on the border right now is dangerous. So we've got to make sure that we do our best. And there's all kinds of different things you could do. Obviously, uh, asylum policy is something we need to look at. Uh, but also securing the border with things like barriers, things like uh, observation, making sure our Border Patrol agents have the resources they need. In addition to district newcomer State Senator Melissa Hurtado, Valadeo is running against familiar faces in Democrat Rudy Salas and Republican Chris Mathis. Even with an open primary, Valadeo will likely need more votes than just Mathis to make it to November's runoff. When asked what separates him from Mathis, Valadeo says the district, pointing to Mathis' recent residency and election losses in New Mexico before moving back to California. What do you think separates you from your uh, Republican opponent in this race, Chris Mathis? Well, one, I'm from the community. Um, I've lived in this community. I'm part of the district. I've always been part of this district uh, my entire life. Um, and I think it's important that when we look at people who are going to represent us, you want them to be one of us. If they're a one-issue type person and this is all they want to be, that's fine. But go run in whatever district you want to run in doesn't make sense for the people that are my neighbors. And when you're a person that lives in this district, worries about the issues that impact them, has been part of this district, kids go to school in this district, uh, my whole entire livelihood is tied to this district. And the idea that you would have someone running for office just random from any, part of the, any other part of the country um, is not a good idea. Is that in reference to somebody being maybe in New Mexico for part of their life? Or? <laughs> when you've run for office in a different state, that's a pretty good sign that you're not part of this community. Reporting in Bakersfield, Will Silverstein, Eyewitness News. And to watch our full interview with Congressman Valadeo, you can head to our website, bakersfieldnow.com.